This numerical is related to the square wave inverter with RL load. So the, the statement of this problem is the full bridge inverter of figure 8.1 has a switching sequence that produces a square wave voltage across a series RL load. The switching frequency is 60 Hz, the applied voltage is 100 volt DC and resistive load is 10 ohm while the inductive load is 25 millihenry. And we are asked to find out the expression for the load current and we are also at the same time asked to find out the power absorbed by the load. And the third point is the average current in the DC source. So we are given that the frequency is 60 Hz, the applied voltage is 100 volt, that is DC, the resistance is 10 ohm while the inductor is 25 millihenry. So let's proceed with the solution. So the, the first point is find the expression for the load current. So the load current has a general expression that is Vdc divided by R plus into I minimum minus Vdc divided by R into E power minus T divided by tau where tau is the time constant that is equal to L divided by R and this is for 0 to T by 2. The time is from 0 to t by 2 and similarly for the rest of t by 2 to t the value of i naught is or the expression of i naught is minus vdc divided by r plus into i maximum plus vdc divided by r minus e powers minus e, this minus is in the power e powers minus t minus t by 2 divided by tau so and the Maximum and minimum current can be find out by using this formula I max is equal to minus I minimum which is equal to VDC divided by R into 1 minus E T divided by 2 tau divided by 1 plus E power minus T divided by 2 tau. So let's get started. First of all we will calculate this T. This T is inversely proportional to the frequency and the frequency is 60. So T is equal to 1 divided by F. Put F is equal to 60 so the time T capital T is equal to 0 0.0167 seconds. Similarly, the tau that is the time constant is equal to L divided by R. L is 25 millihenry where R is 10 ohm. So it come out to be 0 0.0025 seconds. Now let's calculate this term T divided by 2 tau. So it is equal to 3.3 that is a dimensionless constant. The T has a value of 0 0.0167 seconds while tau has a value of 0 0.0025 seconds. Now the maximum and minimum current that is equal to VDC that is 10 divided by R and R has a value of 10 into 1 minus E power minus T divided by 2 tau that is equal to 3.3 and this value has come out to be 9.31 amperes. So the maximum and minimum maximum current is equal to 9.31 amperes while the minimum current is equal to minus 9.31 amperes. Now let's calculate this expression the general expression for the load current. Load current is equal to VDC divided by R where VDC is 10, 100 and R is 10 plus into I minimum, minimum is minus 9.3 minus VDC is 100 divided by the resistance R that is 10 into E power minus T divided by tau. So T is remain as it is and the tau has a value of 0 0.0025 seconds. So just simplify this expression. So for the time 0 to T by 2 R where T is inversely proportional to the frequency that can also be written as 1 divided by 2f so it come out to be 120 so the expression for from 0 to t by 2 is equal to 10 minus 19.31 e power minus t divided by 0 0.0025 amperes right this is the instantaneous equation for the load current similarly for the second time interval it is equal to minus vdc divided by r where vdc a value of 10 r has a value of 10 100 vdc is 100 divided by r is 10 plus 9.31 this is a maximum value which calculated earlier plus 100 that is VDC divided by R that is 10 into E power minus T minus T by 2. T by 2 T has a value of 0 0.0167 seconds divided by 2 divided by 0 0.0025. So for this time interval 1 divided by 120 to 1 divided by 60 or T by 2 to T has come out to be minus 10 plus 19.31 e power minus t minus 0 0.00835 divided by 0 0.0025 right now let's get to the second part and the second part part is to find out the power absorbed by the load so only resistive part will absorb the power therefore we will take only r in our formula so power absorbed by resistive r is equal to 
I square into R and I, I RMS can find out by using this formula. I RMS is equal to root mean square. So we are taking the root, then we will find out the mean and at the last we will take in the square. That is also equal to 2 divided by T and integrated from 0 to T by 2 into VDC divided by R plus I minimum minus VDC divided by R e power minus T by tau whole square DT. So let's calculate its value. So T has a value 2 divided by T has a value of 120 or 2 divided by you can plug into 60. So it come out to be 1 divided by 20 and it is 1 0 to 120 integral and VDC is 10 100 divided by R is 10. So it come out to be 10 minus I minimum I maximum calculated in the previous formula. So I RMS is come out to be 6.64 ampere, right? So now the power is equal to I square R. So 6.6 square into 10 is equal to 441 watt. That is the power which will absorb by this resistive load R. That is 10 in ohm. So the third point is find out the average current in the DC source. The power supplied by DC source is equal to PDC is equal to VDC that is the DC voltage into IS that is the source current. So from this the source current can come out to be PDC divided by VDC. PDC is 441 that is come out that is calculated in the part B and VDC is the applied voltage that is 100 in the value. So the I source is come out to be 4.41 amperes. So this was a numerical problem related to the square wave DC to AC inverter. Thank you so much.